Greetings and welcome. And thank you for joining me here at Bloom from Within Love. I go by Bloomy. And this is a light language that um, transmission that was inspired by a oracle and chakra reading that I did earlier today, which is Sunday, December 13th, 2020. And I said I would come back on and um, do a light language for aura clearing and chakra, sacral chakra clearing, activation and balancing based on the theme that was presented in the tarot reading. So if you haven't had the opportunity to check out that video, I highly recommend that you do. Um, and so that you can see what we're speaking into in this particular light language. And so take this as it resonates. Set your own intention for yourself, for your auric field and your chakra systems. Um, the theme here is releasing all of the accumulated disappointment, whether it's from the year 2020, the last couple months, or whatever has stifled um, your creativity that has stifled the sacral chakra, whatever has led to what was revealed in the tarot reading, which was major heartache, disappointment, um, things just not working out as thought, passion going in reverse, um, all of those things that many of you may be feeling like at this time as we're wrapping up this year closing it out releasing the intention is to release surrender let go and allow to transmute disintegrate alchemize if you will any density we have accumulated whether it's just from as I mentioned, these experiences, our thought forms about these experiences, those that we are interacting with day to day, work environments, family, uh, living environments, the collective at a whole, the state of the world and universe, whatever the reason, whatever um, is causing the org to auric field to feel dense, to feel heavy, clouded, um, obscured, um, holes or, or tears in any way. We are setting the intention to release, let go, detach. That's the main number one thing, release, let go, and detach, which includes letting go of judgment, harsh judgment of self, and others letting go of any uh, self-limiting belief systems releasing in accordance with our higher heart and wisdom in accordance with ease and ebb and flow and grace and comfort for you okay we are also adding the intention to ground to create a strong grounding cord from our root and our earth star chakras which are beneath the feet deep into the core of mother gaia this is to help the circulation of energy the receiving from above releasing through the chakra systems through meridians the body the aura down all the way through gaia releasing everything to be disintegrated and healed into neutrality, but equally so receiving from Gaia the nurturing, the comfort, the love, the support that is often needed in transitions like this. We're also setting the intention of focusing on the hand chakras and feet chakras. And the reason why I feel drawn to that is because the hands and feet has a lot to do um, with the give and take and the movement, forward movement action. The give and take, the hands receive, give, receive, give, the feet movement the ability to be flexible, the ability to move forward in life, the ability to ground into Gaia, the ability 
to manifest um, more consciously um, the the realities in which we want to create for our auric field, for our chakras, which, as I mentioned on this video um, earlier today, that it plays a major role in everything. So I know this is a lengthy introduction. But I like to explain what I'm doing. It's it's kind of my residence and my own guidance. So bear with me for those of you who find this a little irritating. <laughs> so without any further ado, I welcome you to just breathe. You ain't got to do nothing. Just set your intention to be open to receive that which is in alignment. That's which is and benevolence and love and kindness to you um, of just releasing, releasing, releasing. Sometimes we're just so busy, and I can attest to this. Sometimes we've created these scenarios and we get so go, 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 go. You know, changing one job to another, moving one location to the other, changing one relationship to the other. Uh, whatever the case may be. And we are interacting as we're doing all of this. So we already have our internal world, but then we're interacting with others and their perceptions and their energy fields and belief systems. And so if we haven't been managing it, it's like an accumulation. Okay. And so we set the intention that we're going to receive and feel this instantly. We're going to instantly feel lighter. We're going to be centered into our heart as a result, grounded and centered, clearing, grounding, and centering back into the high heart space. Okay. Set that intention to breathe deeply, mindful breathing. Watch your breathing. Allow whatever to come and go because often with light language in any energy work, there may be a stirring and all of that is natural, okay? Reactions and the, the body, mind, soul connection and just let it be. You don't need to understand, figure it out. Give yourself permission to feel and to, to sit with this process, knowing that you're safe, you're secure, you're loved. This is perfectly normal and natural. Your soul understands light language. The body is listening. It also understands. Okay, so without any further ado, get comfortable. My intention is to connect to the Pallades, the Lemurians, and any other consciously evolved high vibrational galactic beings uh, that are in resonance with our higher selves and loves us unconditionally with our goal and intent of clearing our auric field, activating, balancing the sacral chakra for that beautiful creativity to come through, detoxing all of the stress and everything that we may be holding um, from these accumulations, all right? All right. Go 
Give yourself permission. Take the pressure off of yourself and release any projected pressures. There may be a belief system or an agreement we must release in terms of our interaction in a 3D. Thought or the phrase shape shifting. It's coming up shape shifting, shape shifting. Trying to navigate in the 3D day to day, it can feel. There could be this belief or this pressure that says, you know, to in order to not stick out like a sore thumb or to try to be as air quote normal as possible, <laughs> whatever that means, engaging with others. But then I was listening to Wendy Kennedy today, and she's a light language transmission for the ninth dimension Palladian perspective. And she mentioned, or the council mentioned, how when we come into contact with others, though we don't have, we don't judge or label, we don't have to engage and drop resonance, drop our frequency in order to engage or in order to be a part. So we're going to set the intention to release any belief, any positionality, any meaning, any Akashic um, patterns, uh, childhood patterns that uh, causes us to drop our own frequency, our natural set point, um, in order to engage with the 3D world, whether that be work, family, friends. Um, it can even be things that we once held in our own field. But if you've been doing work and trying to allow those things to be disintegrated or um, alchemized, we don't have to keep dropping resonance. We can just observe it and hold the frequency. And so we're going to add the intention for release and for also creativity in holding the resonance, creativity in holding our own unique uh, vibrational set points as we are doing the inner work um, in alignment with our higher selves, our higher heart. That feels natural, ease, ebb and flow. Neutrality, Neutrality, Also, we're adding the intention to fortify feeling comfortable with emotion, being able to feel comfortable with 
the frequency and the subtle energies of various emotion. First with ourselves and with others, this too will help us to hold our field, to be able to hold ground, to be able to hold our set point as we become more comfortable realizing it's just emotion and it's natural. Let's add safety and security. Yeah, and balance to the vagus nerve, balance to the vagus nerve. Detox, auric detox, chakra detox, body detox, emotional detox, Compassion, compassion, Akasha for the self, compassion. Ooh, compassion, self love, self care, balance to the yin and yang, Akara, Salamaka, Ashkut, Kuchku, we release and let go of the pressure to try to fit in or to be anything other than what's in resonance with our higher heart and our higher selves. With comfort and grace, comfort and grace, receiving, letting go, ebb and flow, releasing, more love energy, heart energy, transmuting, I call in violet fire, transmute traumas, effects of trauma in the auric field, effects of trauma in the physical body, effects of trauma in the emotions and psyche, effects of our light teams to assist channel high vibrational love high vibrational healing colors sounds frequencies tones codes ayara empowering the auric field clearing healing strengthening buffering balancing the auric field akararara masa the chakras as it resonates in the root causes of what is currently causing an upset for the sacral. I call in creativity, rest, fun, joy, bliss, childlike wonderment. I call in the four elements, earth, water, fire, air. All directions of time and space. Laughter, dance, song, creativity, artistry. Clarity. Divine synchronicity, in accordance with our higher heart, in every area of our lives and in every now moment. Asalayalama, 
asa ayananana. Korea salama. Namaste.